Scientists in general, and especially geologists, use their words carefully. And they mean what they say. And when Thorvaldo Thorvaldson, the professor of geology and volcanology at the University of Iceland says, falling of a man into a hole in Grindavik cannot be called an accident. His word has a weight. That means this thing borders into the realm of the negligence. The workers were working in the Grindavik to repair, and he was telling why the rush for repairing of something that we don't know even. The extent of the cracks, the numbers of them, the locations of them were not known. The amount of the sinkhole, was was the root cause of them? Are they connected to the volcanism or are they connected to the sea or the tide? The hazard was not known and the risk was not assessed. And these are the key words that in environmental science especially, we deal with them on an everyday basis. Hazard and risk. The hazard of the cracks in the town existed, yet we decided to go and repair something that was necessary probably for some areas, but absolutely not necessary for many other areas in Grindavik. And by that, we put a worker and let him work alone in danger. That worker was never found when he fell into the sinkhole. This is especially important as this is a developing situation. We don't know the extent of the cracks, the locations of them, and what is the cause of them, and the future course that they will take before they settle. These have to be assessed. And in the midst of these events, we cannot be sure that what will be the course of this thing. It may take 10 years for all the, you know, events in this area, volcanic upheaval, earthquakes, everything, actually to settle down so we can be sure this situation, this crack, this street will be the same shape for next five years, ten years, so we can actually start to repair it. In Iceland, many places we have such a thing that people were living in the past. It was a tough life by then. Nowadays, we have more choices. We have better lives. We live longer. And these things have to be considered when we are going to actually expose people to risk or involve them in legally binding agreements, for example, selling them properties, houses, in areas that we know that the risk assessment has not been done. For example, we have an area in the east of the Reykjavik that is quite possible. And we have to be sure that people are not exposed their money, the income, the investment into areas that actually poses a risk to them. Once that uh, a lava field has reached the vicinity of an area, it may happen again in future. And this has to be considered as a risk and the insurance must be according to that. This is money we are talking about now. The identity of the man uh, who actually fell in the sinkhole in Grindavik when working to make the life easier for his fellow citizens in the town of the Grindavik is now revealed. His name was uh, Ludwig Peterson, and uh, he was a fellow YouTuber, as you will see. He was an avid runner, and he had some records, and... Uh, he fell into this sinkhole, which actually could be revealed if he had the right uh, tools. Uh, probably we don't expect that Iceland had such tools, but the EU definitely has. Ludwig was 50 years old, and he was born in the 1973, and he was an avid uh, sportsman. As you can see, he was fit. Uh, he was fond of the machinery and a runner also. He had some records of uh, in the ITRA and uh, as you can see in the social media pages also that uh, he was a fellow YouTuber and it almost started as we, all of us started, you know, with just few viewers and subscribers. He had a record, his age was in the category of 50-54 when he was doing this. He had uh, 
two stepchildren, four children of his own, two stepchildren from his partners, and two grandchildren. So he practically was a grandfather. In the future, probably we should really use the geote- geophysical techniques to actually identify the substrata in the Grindavik when we want to actually do any work. We are able to use the uh, sur- uh, surface penetrating radar, for example. We easily can show us what is underneath. And in this way, we can avoid that. Uh, EU can be a good help, good source for help on this. EU, United Kingdom, United States of America, who have such equipment, I think that they should provide this equipment to the Icelandic authorities or actually loan it, loan it to them, lend it to them, so they actually can use it. And to avoid such problems is a sad day for all of us. Uh, I wish to extend my condolences to his family and to his children and grandchildren and his partner. I wish them all well, and uh, I hope that he will be alive. It's impossible, but...